there is a skateboarding simulator game out there that not a lot of people have played and it might be because the art style is nothing like Session, Skate or Excel or the EA Skate series but let me tell you this, this game is one of the most rewarding games to land tricks in. So today we'll be doing some awesome tricks, I'll explain how you can have your own style in the game, how you can do tricks that can't really do in other games and we'll be going over like the purpose of it how to unlock new levels and we'll just be having an awesome time in skate ride what is up guys welcome back to skate ride let's just hit go skate we'll go to the map menu here so you can see we have eight maps and the purpose for each map is to find 10 gaps and do four different kinds of tricks on them so i think we'll be skating map number five today as you can see, there's some gaps I haven't found and there's some I have, like gap number two here. I haven't done just a flip trick over this. As you actually saw in the intro there, I, I got the flip plus rotation in a line. But maybe that's one thing we could go for. Otherwise, we're just going to jump into this game once more and uh, learn it. So you push on X and you ollie on A and you have to tap A again before you land and uh, if you want to do flip tricks you have to set up for them so you can see my feet down there in the corner if i just flick the right stick to the left i set up for a kickflip and i have to catch it before we land and you can slow it down you can speed it up in this case let's do a slow one yeah and then we got the uh, other standard flip tricks that you know from uh, the tony hawk games on the other uh, directionals there's diagonal that gives us a barrel flip and if we want to do tray flip you actually got to choose the barrel flip and then up the uh, shove speed then you get the tray flip and then you can uh, you can do that one slower or faster so it depends on your style I think stuff like 180 flip tricks is so awesome in this game because you can actually choose to let's let's try a front side flip we'll try uh, i'll just actually place a session marker like right here then we'll go over the rail and then before we even go we'll set up for it. so i'll set up for a hard flip as you can see i'm flicking to the left and the board is rotating front side behind me but if we choose the scoop to slow it's only going to go 90 then we can catch it there and rotate it so if we just go medium flip speed Let, let's try that let's see how this goes first try okay that was actually kind of bad but uh you could just go back to your session marker we could try that again maybe with a different technique so how about we we flick it fast this time let's see if that's gonna be better i don't know if i like that way of doing it actually maybe it looks better on backside flips but we'll try one more hard flip this time we'll we'll flip it slow. That was kind of cool, but maybe that would look better down a set. Maybe something like this one we have here. Let's see. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. But if you don't want to like spend so much time setting up, you could just like now I'm set up for a hard flip. And the thing is, you gotta rotate with it. So uh, if we rotate with a hard flip. You get a front side flip so the, you can do a bunch of really weird like body barrel tricks in this game which i i really like stuff like that we just did a twisted flip down a double set but yeah this game is super fun you uh grind on x or b and then you do slides on y and then it depends on where your pressure point is when you get into the trick and the pressure point is that little red bar you can see down there right now it's in the middle if I put it up like this, we should land in a no slide if I uh, if I hit Y here. And if I put it down, we should land in a blunt slide. So yeah, there's a lot to know about this game. But uh, did we get the, uh, the flip trick up here? That is gap number two. So uh, we, we should try that. I'll just set up for like a slow kick flip. There we go. I think we completed gap number two now. And as you saw, I had found one other gap, which is uh, this fountain thing. So maybe we should just uh, go for that. I think we need like max speed for that one. Oh, okay. 
I just want to see what we uh, needed here. I've only done the ollie, so the ollie with rotation, that would be easy, just get like 180 or 360. But the flip and flip rotation is hard because you gotta sit up for the flip trick in the fountain. And since it's been a while since I've played the game, I gotta figure out how to pre-set up a trick because I know there's a way to do that. Okay, we zoomed in a bit now and I think I figured it out. So if I set up for a kickflip like this, maybe a slow one, I can hit right on the D-pad and now that is saved. Okay, so if we go for the gap, maybe I actually do wanna zoom out. We'll try it zoomed in for this one. Oh, that was close, but I need a bit more speed. There we go. Okay, so we just need flip plus rotation. So maybe something like a backside flip. Or we should just kick flip body barrel. No, let's heel flip body barrel. I'll preset that one up. Let's get the speed for the gap. We got it. Disco flip over gap number nine. Now we just need a rotation trick. So let's just do a yeah front three maybe. There we go. Okay, you just kind of had to late Ollie on that one. That's kind of stupid in my opinion. But yeah, now you kind of know how the game works and what the purpose of the game is and... We'll just be getting into some really tech things. I kind of just want to sesh one thing. Maybe try some stuff on this handrail. Let's just start with a kickflip 50. Yeah, just simple like that, right? And since there's years between my skate ride videos, I actually can't remember what I did in my last one. We might be doing exactly the same thing, but nonetheless, it is pretty rewarding. Let's try to go for tray flip crook. Let's see. So I think that's X. First try. I still got it in this game. But it, it's so much fun that like before I have to go, I have to think about what I want to try. So how about this is a hard flip. We probably need to flip it a bit faster. And then I want to land in a smith grind. Yeah, I need to catch the board. Then go for it. All right. We got the hard flip back smith. How about a varil heel feeble? Very nice. And if I want to do something like a kickflip back nose blunt, this is where it gets tricky. So we'll set up for a barrel flip. We'll have the scoop. Flip it fast. I'll land on the nose. And then it's just... Rotate 90. Hit Y. And there we go. Kickflip back nose blunt. This game is so much fun. Little kickflip crook. I'm getting back into it. Simple nollie flip back 5-0, right? That was not the thing I wanted to 5-0. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I really like this rail, but sometimes, you know, when you're only seeing it from one angle, it can be a little bit weird. So uh, how about we try to skate either the outlet here or the hopper, because then we get a, a new angle on the tricks. I haven't done that many pop shove it tricks in this game, so how about we go for a pop shove it nose grind? Oh, missed that one completely. There we go, but I like landed on top of the hopper, not gapping down on it. <laughs> Maybe that's gonna look a bit better on the outlet. Yeah, it is. Maybe we can even just like rotate 90 out. How's that going to work? Oh, okay. Just gotta avoid landing in the dirt. How about we do it with a hard flip? Yeah, that is so nice. Let me just do a slow kick the body barrel down the set. Did I do it front side the first time? Now we did both, I hope. <laughs> Oh, I don't think I've done a big flip in this game before. So let's just do a tray flip and then rotate 180. Nice. That is so sick. Can I even like spin 360 with my body or a backside 360 kick flip? I think we'll need to flip it slowly for that. So this is a slow tray that I'm spinning along on. And there we got the back three flip. I have another body barrel idea. 
Oh, okay. That's kind of the Chris Cole one. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a good looking kick for Backsmith. We got a back 180 out of that. Okay, I might be jumping on it a little bit early. Yeah, that's probably gonna have to be it. Fagy Disco Flip. Oh, that is gonna be almost impossible, I think. There we go, kickflip front, no splunt. That was actually difficult. Even though the hardest thing about this game is just doing lines. Because sometimes it can be a bit tricky when you completely forget how to play the game. I'm wondering what else could be a gap here. So, I mean, maybe just this flat gap? That is a gap. That's gap number one. Okay, so we got the ollie. We got the rotation trick. Let's get the flip trick. The barrel heel flip. And then we'll get the rotation plus flip trick. So a big heel. Nice. We just completed gap number one. And that's how simple this game is, guys. And then you just go to the map menu. And you can see now we completed everything gap number one. Everything gap number two. And everything... Gap number nine, and then you just gotta find more gaps, complete more things to get map points, and once you have enough map points, you can buy new maps. And oh, I need one map point to get the map number eight. That can't be a, a gap, right? Little side kicker thing. No, but uh, it's kind of cool. <laughs> that was a gap. Well, I mean, now we can actually afford the very last map here. Just unlock it. Damn, new map. I think I once have completed this game fully, but uh, it's been a while. But uh, this map looks kind of crazy. Kind of reminds me of uh, Fingerboard Park, maybe. That was not a gap. It's a gap going up it. Oh my. There we go. Until the next video here on the channel. Have a good and peace out.